Joe in real life. Day 145. Here in beautiful Bonaventure Cemetery again. Um, yeah. Still feeling a little flat. Still feeling a little hurt. You know. Still feeling a little blue. More than a little. Um, but that's okay. Because I feel the swing about to happen. And it's a beautiful day. And I have another day to take it easy. I'm gonna do the same thing as yesterday, get a little stretch in, try to get some blood flow to the affected area, my right scapula. And um, by Monday, I think I'll be ready to make a big push. <sighs> Thinking about what I've been struggling with, these panic attacks and depression, and remembering back to you know, when I was seriously plagued by these issues, I've been trying to piece together how I rebounded then versus now. And I haven't been able to think of anything, you know? Like, and it's in part because I'm being a lazy dipshit, why I haven't been able to think of it. But also, it, was, it wasn't an issue of what I was doing, it's an issue of the degrees to which I was doing them. And basically, I need structure. I'm like a misbehaving child that throws tantrums in the mall. I need structure, you know? You can't chide the child. You can't shame them into doing better. That only makes the issue worse both to the frustration and disappointment of the parent and the child. I am that child. I need uh, patterns that I can depend on, structures that nourish me, and that are clear in working towards a common goal. I need my yoga back. I need to start practicing again, and I need to make it a priority. It's a new, it's enormously beneficial, and yet I've been neglecting it. Part of me has already done it, and I'm kind of plagued by the twin observation that because I've already done it, I don't want to do it again, it's boring or something, and also I'm not going to be as good as I was. <laughs> And so my ego is fighting back against this, which is absurd, you know, like there's no high score in yoga There's no reason for me to be feeling anything like that at all, but I am anyway Also, and this was important and I'm embarrassed for overlooking it. I need a teacher like when I recovered from addiction the one thing that I had then that I definitely don't have now is a teacher, someone to guide me, someone to be accountable for, and someone I represented, you know, as a student. Um, it was an enormously important relationship to me, and I don't know how I could have overlooked it. So ridiculous, so blind. So, I'm gonna start that process too. So I, I took a sip of hot coffee. Mm -hmm. And it's delicious, but it's way too hot. So yeah, that's my plan right now. To like structure myself, structure my day. Fight back against these dark moods and frenzied, spasmatic, assaults <laughs> um, and I have high hopes uh, especially seeing as if it doesn't work then I have to acquiesce to therapy and pharmacolo pharmacology and I'm not interested in that but I'm more interested in that than being <laughs> completely devastated without any warning that's for sure. So, that's where I'm at right now. Hey, I love you guys. This is Joe in real life. Look at my face.
That's allergies, I promise. I haven't been crying too much. <laughs> um, I love you guys. Be good to each other.